Hi, so I'm just going to give you a quick demo of machining a 3D model with 2D strategies. So the first thing I'm going to do is open a model, select uh, the step type of models, and then we've got a break disk example, double click that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is, is get this part laying flat, because I think you can see there that's not the case at the moment. In fact, if we do look at the front view there, you can see it's sitting at a strange angle. And we can in fact measure that with the measure command, highlight the face, left click, and there you go. So it's at a strange angle. So the easiest way to align this is to use the command here called align face. So to do that, we select the model or models we want to align, click the command, highlight the face, and that's now sitting flat. We can double check that with the measure command. Yep, and that's now sitting X0, Y0. The last thing I need to do is just check where the datum is. And I want my datum on the Z0 to be on the top uh, and in the middle. So let's use the measure command again. And then we can highlight the, the outside of the disk. You can see the arc's being highlighted, left click. Left click, and that's telling us that the center of that arc is X0, Y0. Well, that's correct, but the, it's a little bit low, it's half a mil too low. So I'm going to move this, select part, choose the move command. So now base point, that means from where, let's just choose any point on the model, so there, and don't change the X, don't change the Y, and just make the Z zero. And that should have moved it now. So double check, measure the outside arc and centered x0, y0 and z0. So that's good, that's perfectly aligned. So the next thing we need to do now is we're just going to uh, pocket the inside and drill the holes and machine around the outside. So we need to create contours and we can do that, we can draw them all over here but we want to use the uh, contours from the model so we've got a command here called extract contours from face so we choose that, highlight the face, left click. You can see all the blue they're the contours that we've just created. So all the holes, the inside and outside edge. Uh, next thing we need to do is set a height on the contours. So right click, set height. The top is 0 by default. That's fine. So click OK. The bottom, well, we could key in the value, but let's just pick it from the model. So here at the bottom, left click. And that's found that it's at minus 7. And then set the height. So that's done. So the next thing we need to do is we can start machining. That we can do let's machine the or pocket the inside out first so we'll choose a tool uh, let's use toggle ripper choose the pocket and command now the the values we put in here um, with the absolute unchecked all the values are from the top of the contour apart from the finish depth which is from the bottom and when the top of the contour is zero the absolute makes no difference, but when the absolute is checked, it literally means those are the figures that will be, will be output. So we can set our heights, um, initial rapid of 50, and down to 2. Uh, that's some people feel comfortable coming to a higher point first, but I'm going to go straight to 2. Uh, material, uh, feed from 2, that's fine. Material top, 0, yeah. Finish depth, so I'm going to go minus 0 0.5. That's going to go through the job by 0 0.5, because the depth of the contour is already at minus 7 so that would go to minus 7.5 and we'll do a couple of passes because we're roughing spindle speed these are just some arbitrary values I'm not too bothered about these for the demonstration and then finish allowance which is on on the side effectively let's leave 0.2 select the contour we want to machine and add so you see that's now gone and pocketed the inside out Next thing we're going to do is we're going to finish the inside and I'm just going to finish the outside. So we'll go profile, select uh, tool 2, which is a finished 12 mil. Again, all these heights are from the top, that's from the top, from the top, from the top, that's from the bottom, from the top of the contour. So we can, um, that's fine, now we'll go through minus 0.5 again. We can put some speeds in here. I'm getting these ready. Not too important. And this time the finish allowance is zero. And I'm going to machine that and in fact do the outside at the same time. So add that. So you can see it's on the outside. Now the inside will in fact, if I just 
show you the wireframe view has actually gone on the wrong side because the default is always on the outside for profile and so if I just select the inner one and then change the sign and direction to inside and we've now we're now going around the inside and what I could do is just suppress that so we can see yes yeah, so you can see now we've gone around on the inside put the shady view back on top view okay so you can see that we've got the option to create entries and exits I'm not going to bother for this example but you can add lines and arcs okay lastly we need to do is drill the hole so drill select tool 5 mil drill um, fit in all the depths again the depths from the contour height so all I want to do is make that say 2 mil I go through through the job by 2 mil speeds and then all I need to do now is select all the circles so I'm just going to go select all unselect the outside it was only drill circles so add all those circles and there we go you can see all those holes are drilled and they've come come through as well by two mil so the jobs jobs now finished so I'll just unsuppress all of those I just need to simulate I don't have to simulate it but I'm going to uh, I'm going to create a, a material stock which is round so I'm going to just go offset of the millimeter and create an offset on the outside of one millimeter so I've now got another contour on the outside I'm going to choose material stock from contour so we've now got material stock uh, simulate and then we can slow that down so I finish finish draw the holes and there we go so that is now complete and the last thing you do now is you go to the NC code tab you don't need to generate the code it's always there um, we could save save the disk however you get it to your machine or this is for the RSTT2 so I could go send to machine and that will send the NC code just there direct to the machine so there you go so that's a quick overview thank you very much